What's next out there? Well, for tonight, we're going to be about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than it was last night. Now, Pocatello, as you saw from the Almanac page right before the break, we had a low last night of 62 degrees, so we won't be nearly as mild tonight. Good news here, a much better hair day tomorrow. Calmer weather expected across to the Snake River Plain into the mountains and highlands. Uh, winds will be much lighter out there. At least we'll get a break. The break won't last long. For the 3rd of July, the windiness returns. All we care about, though, is the 4th of July, and it looks like the wind's going to go back. Uh, get away just in time for the holiday. Now, storm tracker, radar satellite together. You can see what's left of our storminess over the upper highlands into Yellowstone, and it's trying to snow over part of the Tetons right now. Some cooler air associated with this. You can see all the clearing over Washington, Oregon, Nevada. That's where high pressure sits, and that high pressure system will continue to push eastward into Idaho overnight, so that will give us lots of sunshine. We're still getting some liquid sunshine out there right now in the form of some light rain around Blackfoot. This batch of storminess will push off towards the east. Some showers, too. It looks like near Preston. A little showery just south of Malad City down to uh, the Utah border. And there's the rain I mentioned earlier in the northern portion of Fremont County. And there's the rain snow together. Yeah, we're talking rain snow. At least you got to hike up to it. Yeah, nothing down low. Good news there, I guess. Uh, for tonight's forecast, not so good if you like that 62 we had last night. 49 tonight, so we'll call that cooler. One nice thing, though, barely a breeze overnight. Wind southwest, 0 to 5 miles per hour. Will certainly be a cooler one in Idle Falls tonight with a low temperature of 43. North breeze up to 15 miles per hour for the next couple hours. And then the winds will back off down to about 5 miles per hour overnight. That will allow the air to cool off even more so. 79, though, is what we're expecting for high in Idle Falls tomorrow. Lots of sunshine and less wind. We'll keep that theme going, too, for Pocatello. We'll top out at 81 degrees, so we'll call that a warm day. Lighter winds for sure. I think the peak wind speed, at least sustained wind speed, will be up to about 15. We had wind gusts almost around 40 in Pocatello this evening. So our top wind gust tomorrow, probably more like 25 miles per hour, so better in the wind department. High temperatures in the Central Mountains in the comfortable 70s, 72 in Ledore, Mackey, you're at 75. We got the 80s to our west. We got a high temperature almost hitting 80 in Blackfoot. A little warmer than that down south, Malad City. We'll have a high of 82. Now your forecast for travel tracker. A little storminess way up north in big sky country. Great Falls, a chance of showers and thunderstorms. A little cloudier the farther north you go. Farther south you go, the sunnier we'll get. And of course, a little warmer it gets too. Salt Lake City topping out at 85. Meanwhile, on the west side, over in Boise, they'll hit a high of 88 degrees. Warmest temperature on that map. Southeast Idaho, Chevy Dealer, seven day. There's the wind for Wednesday, and there's your 4th of July on Thursday. Perfect weather if you're going to light some fireworks and watch the big show in the sky. We got a hot one for the weekend. Uh, yeah, hot July, 1st July. Weekend out there, highs in the mid-90s Sunday and Monday. Rexburg, just mainly sunshine the next couple of days. Quite comfortable, comfortable holiday on Thursday, 75. We start warming up and we'll be in the lower 90s uh, a week from today. Blackfoot seven-day forecast. We'll be in the lower 80s on Wednesday. We're still in the 80s on Thursday. And then those hot 90s come in later on. Teton area, we'll call it warm this weekend. Warmest day will be after the weekend. We'll hit 87 degrees on Monday. And with the Central Mountains, we are storm-free for the next seven. It looks like we got a warm one. Not bad, comfortably warm. Thursday, even warmer Friday with hot 90s for the first weekend of the month with 95 next Monday. Matt.